Hi everyone, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at the home links for Unit 1, Lesson 13, Finding the Perimeter. Perimeter, as you know, is the measurement of the uh, outside of a polygon. And uh, when we are finding the perimeter of a rectangle, as it says up here, we have to add the measure of the four sides. So the perimeter of a rectangle formula is length plus length plus width plus width. So you are creating an addition problem with four add-ins. Two lengths, two widths. So let's take a look at problem number one. Now, problem number one has a rectangle. It almost looks like a square, but we see that one side is seven feet long, and the other side is eight feet wide. Now. This is going to be a common mistake for kids when you start out doing perimeter. How many sides does a rectangle have? Well, that's right. It has four sides. How many measurements did the, uh, the folks at Everyday Math uh, write down for the uh, rectangle here? Only two. And that's because the folks at Everyday Math have made an assumption that if you see that the right hand side of this rectangle is seven feet then you would be able to infer that the left side is also going to be seven feet and if the bottom of the rectangle is eight feet that you would be able to infer that's right the top is going to be eight feet as well so in order to solve this problem you need to add 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 okay so I will write out my problem vertically oh look at that I rearrange the numbers a little bit because I put my 8's together and I put my 7's together it doesn't matter what order you add the four sides, as long as you remember to add four sides, um, the, uh, the sum will be the same. But I group them by doubles, because I know how to do doubles real easy. 8 plus 8 is 16. 7 plus 7 is 14. So once I have the two pairs added together, I just have to add those totals. These are like partial sums. 16 plus 14, 6 plus 4 is 10. So that gives us a total of 30 feet. Okay? That's all there is to it when it comes to perimeter. You are just making sure that you have four sides to add up when you are finding the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, let's take a look at problem number 4. Problem number 4, this was a bit tricky. And this too might trip some kids up because look 2 feet by 30 inches you're going to have to do some conversions okay so 30 inches is not a, a set amount of feet it does not convert so it would probably be easier to convert the 2 feet into inches now there are 12 inches to every foot so basically what I need to do is I need to multiply 2 times 12 or add 12 to itself twice. That would give me 24 inches. So my perimeter is going to be the total of 30 and 30 and 24 and 24. Okay. So again, I just need to set up my problem. 30... 30, 24, and 24. So let's line up our place values. 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 4. That's going to give me 8. Nothing to regroup. 3 plus 3 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 plus 4. That's right, it's 10. So my total is 108 inches. And of course, I had to convert my feet to inches to get the correct uh, unit of measure for my answer. And then finally, let's take a look at problem six and seven because you know this is the last lesson of this unit. 
and after a little bit of review, you will be taking the unit tests. So all the stuff down at the bottom where it says practice, these two are problems that you will have to uh, know how to do for the unit test. Round each number to the nearest 10,000 and 100,000. 421,492. So first, to round to the nearest 10,000, I first have to uh, do a little of uh, ignoring. So I'm going to ignore the 4 in 400,000 for just a minute. So I'm just going to imagine this is 21,000, and I want to ask myself, is 21,000 closer to 20,000, or is it closer to 30,000? Well, the halfway mark is going to be 25,000, and 21,000 is nowhere near that halfway mark, the 25. So I would round 21,492 to 20,000, like so. But wait! There was a 4 in front of there. Now I remembered. I willfully ignored it for a minute. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that comma in between the first three digits and the last three digits. 420,000. Now what I need to do is take that same number, 421,492, and round it to the nearest 100,000. So my new question is, what is this closer to? 421,492, is it closer to 400,000? Or is it closer to 500,000? Now of course, the halfway mark is going to involve a 5, so it's going to be 450,000. Well, 421 would be probably right about there, 421. Okay. So, again, not enough to round to the next place value. Not enough juice to get it up all the way up that hill to the halfway point. So it's going to slide backwards to 400,000. And that's our estimate for f hundreds of thousands. Go ahead and try the rest of these problems on your own, because when you take the test, you will have to do all the problems on your own. But you know what? If you have questions, reach out to your math teacher, and they will be happy to help you. Hey, that's their job. Uh, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.